Welcome to 10 Minutes, everybody. So for today, I want to talk about, you know, employee mindset, like entrepreneur tendencies or, you know, sparks or maybe just partial, um, you know, partially looking at like creating a, a passive income or something on the side, but continuing to have, a, you know, for the majority, an employee mindset. Um, and then straight out entrepreneurism. So me personally, I'm more of that um, middle of the road. Uh, I like the security and, um, you know, the ability to have a, a, a regular job where I don't fall flat out um, if I don't make my other things or my side hustle or, or the stuff that I'm trying to accomplish uh, hit, right? So I, it's kind of like a, a hedge, but it, it does take away your time. So if you think that you can go after, you know, being a straight entrepreneur and not do the employee gig at all, you're obviously going to have um, way more time and you can put way more energy into, you know, whatever it is you're going after as an entrepreneur, but it has a much greater risk. Uh, that's why, like, being an entrepreneur and being young with no family or maybe no relationship is... Is, is something that, you know, that could be get through that risk time, get through that hard push uh, to break through and still be that true entrepreneur, but have some some structure and stability by the time you actually go to have a family and, and, and make a life. Um, but yeah, so I've always been in the middle. But basically, you know, employee mindset from my perspective is, you know, you feel that you have to work for people. Um, a, a big part of it too is, is you've always looking, you know, you're spending time, selling your time, your time, in your opinion, is always worth more, which it, it truly is. But, you know, you're, you almost don't equate to making changes unless you get paid more for your time. And I completely understand that. It completely makes sense. Um, and that's pretty much how most people think, because, you know, I'm not going to go backwards. I've worked hard to get where I am. And and you really shouldn't go backwards, but the ultimate um, truth is, you know, some opportunities, some things that you go, go to take on, they may make you go backwards financially um, for the bigger picture, the bigger opportunity. Uh, it's happened every single time I've made a jump in my life. Uh, I've gone backwards and it's worked out okay. Um, so that's kind of like the employee mindset. So I apply a little bit of entrepreneurism to my employee mindset because, you know, I'm willing to take that jump that takes away 20, 30% of my pay because I see the bigger picture of joining that team or that company. Um, and then, you know, the entrepreneur tendencies or things you do around your nine to five or your eight to five or whatever, nobody really works at nine to five unless you're bank or school or whatever. But, um, you know, that it's kind of safe, but it's slow to continue to do that around all that. Um, you know, a true entrepreneur doesn't mind going broke over and over and over again because they're just going to keep going until they hit, until they find something, and they might not ever get there. So they might spend their whole life just completely just grinding, but if they like that and that's, you know, the process that they enjoy, great. If they don't, that's miserable and terrible, and they should just commit to being an employee. Um, none of it's bad. I think it's important to understand yourself. What's your risk profile? How do you view things? And, you know, if you if you can see out in the future and you can see, you know, the changes it makes not only in in monetary value, but in time and and freedom and maybe your surroundings and who you're with and, and things like that, uh, it, it might be worth not having the same pay when you level to the next job or you level up to a position, or maybe you want to take a demotion. Maybe you took, took a job that you couldn't sustain or it wasn't the right job or it's not the right time. It's okay to not continue in that path and take a step backwards for yourself, for your happiness. Uh, I personally have done that. Um, pretty big decision to step backwards. And it was the best decision I made in my life. I refocused a lot of my energy on my on my entrepreneur side hustle, but, um, but it, it was, it was what I needed to do for me and my family. Aside from all financial situations, I was just too stressed. Um, 
but I'm not sure. So what I'm trying to do is, you know, have that fine line between being an employee slash, slash entrepreneur and then convert into a full entrepreneur and f fully for myself or fully, you know, an entrepreneur mindset after I have a foundation and I feel it's stable rather than the straight entrepreneur that just goes relentless, has a huge risk tolerance, doesn't have family or things that they mind losing, is okay with sleeping on somebody's couch for months or years or go move back in with their mom because it didn't work out or their dad or move in with a friend. You know, there's nothing wrong with that mindset either because that's how they might just make it from zero to a hundred, right? They go, they go from just grinding, grinding, grinding to something hits and now their whole life changes for the rest of their life. That's just not my style. That's not who I am because if I never hit that, if I never get there, I want to enjoy life every day. So for my thresholds, for who I am, um, it's important to have that, that safety of employment. Um, so, you know, just wanted to kind of touch on that. I got a lot of things happening. Um, you know, I got friends going through some, some, some choices they got to make. Um, they're choices I've had to make. So I think it's an interesting topic. Um, and, you know, love whichever one you're doing. You know, if you want to be 95% employee thought and then just do a little thing and just let that grow a little, that's great. But make sure you're spending your time doing the things you really, truly want to do and being happy. Um, and experience in life don't worry about grinding all the time having a good job if you have a stable company and and security that sometimes is the best blessing in the world so thanks for listening i'm gonna give you a little little look at the i think if the sky comes out sky looks beautiful today but this is the back porch of the bainbridge stead um thanks for listening everybody have a great day